see uh, today, finally, uh, that the Cubs uh, did something? That only uh, took forever. They got Rizzo, uh, Jack, and his 20th, and Brian hit two of them, 17 and 18. Brian had a huge day, four of five, three runs, two home runs, three walks, and four RBIs. And uh, Edwards pitched an inning and two-thirds, no hits, no runs, three strikeouts. He walked two, and they handle the Pirates easily. Bottom line is... Uh, We've had, we're watching this Milwaukee team tonight in New York, and the real story is, what the hell is going on with the Cubs? Like, are you kidding me? Don't even tell me that you can handle this hangover they got for much longer. I mean, they drank a whole bottle of whiskey and ate some pills and smoked some reefer or something because they haven't snapped out of it yet since winning the World Series. And you know it, I know it. It's just unacceptable the way they've been playing baseball. Is that not the bottom line? Even your uh, boy Theo, the, the genius, uh, he's like, we're not making trades. we got to figure this out from within. I think they have five errors in this game, the Brewers. They lead the league in strikeouts, in errors, but they're in first place. And do you know why they're in first place? Because the rest of that division stinks like manure. That's why. Do you know there's no one in that division, unless I'm mistaken, that's over 500? They're, the Cubs are the best feature at 500. No one's over 500 except Milwaukee. That's it. They're, they were up four and a half at the start of the day. Four now. If I guess if they lose this game tonight, three and a half? That's easily doable. That is very easy to do. But uh, the Brewers aren't done here. They've won four straight, seven of ten. Paul O'Neill said tonight on this uh, broadcast, I was watching him early, he said that uh, they'll basically do it too. He said that uh, eventually they're going to get their game going. They're going to find themselves. They're going to hit. They're going to score. They're going to win. He said they're too talented to do this malaise the entire season. And then uh, I know people in Chicago are like, screw Paul O'Neill. What does he have to do with anything? But I think it's just that there's some people, a lot of people that, you know, I'm sitting here watching the Brewers tonight in New York. So a lot of people are talking about how the hell are the Brewers leading the Cubs. So the conversation was that, and O'Neill was like, listen, this team's not going to be 500 for very much longer. They're going to break out. They're going to catch them. They're going to win that division. 